Hello, I am Gaynor Dickerson. I'm a botanical artist and I'm going to show you how I have drawn a poppy seed case with graphite. This is part of a series of small videos that I've done for an online botanical art course. I hope you do enjoy this. It is the culmination of that particular set of uh, videos. Now you see in front of you the uh, seed head and you see that I've got it uh, lit up from the left hand side so that you've got light on the left, shadow on the right. I'm going to trace the ready drawing that I've got, the line drawing, uh, onto my sheet of art paper which is Bristol board. And for this I'm using a decoupage tool, which is a very handy piece of equipment. It, the reason I'm doing it in this way is so that I don't leave any indentations in my art paper, because I definitely don't want those. So this is a smooth little bit of metal. You could use a spoon, but I found that uh, it doesn't give quite the same effect and I just rub it gently over the tracing that I've made. I trace my line drawing first, then I turn my tracing paper over and I do a line drawing on the other side. So now I'm rubbing it onto my Bristol board, which I find works very well when you're using graphite. I'm just checking here that it the whole of the line drawing is on the paper before I remove the tracing. As you can see I have used the tracing before for other things. I'm afraid I don't like wasting paper. Once I've traced it I'm going to use a putty rubber. I usually use the grey ones because I find that they're more malleable and just um, lift the excess graphite from my tracing so that I've just got a tiny, tiny bit of graphite left to show where I'm going on the drawing. I just want it very, very pale. And this method one can use in all sorts of uh, medium. If I'm going to paint with watercolour. I don't want any dents on the paper. If I'm going to paint with coloured pencil, I don't want any dents on the paper. Now to start off with, I'm going with a very gentle stroke to make sure that I've got all the lines that I need to start off my drawing properly. I'm using a soft pencil to do this and as you see I'm using Caran d'Ache graph wood which I find is a very good pencil. The softer pencils they're very smooth which is very useful. Now I'm doing the drawing very quickly as you can see because uh, Obviously, I don't think you want to be watching through every single stroke that I make. And for this, I'm using a very soft pencil too. So if I want to have any dark areas, which I do in this instance, then I use the soft pencil first and then I go over with the harder pencil and you find that the uh, any granular effect disappears and it all becomes very gentle and smooth if you do it in this way. If you put soft pencil on top of hard pencil, 
you find that there's a lot of fat in the pencil. It, it feels like fat, wax, oil, whatever. And it sort of acts as a, a almost as a resist. You see that I'm using a glove on my right hand. Now that is to protect the artwork. It's just an ordinary cotton glove that you can buy from any uh, pharmacy and I just cut the fingertips off. Now I've changed to a B pencil. Now making things just slightly darker. But one of the essential things is to keep the paper clean. Now a 2B pencil. And you'll find that uh, with graphite and with coloured pencil, for that matter, a lot of the pigment drops down on the if you're right-handed onto the right-hand side of the paper or the right-hand side of your your subject that you're drawing. So to reduce this, I often have something over the paper. And you'll see in a little while I've got a, a piece of um, acetate to protect the paper. Now I'm going a lot faster forward so that you can, you don't get too bored of watching it. As you see, I'm emphasizing the darker side. There's a lot of detail under on the darker side. And I put all the detail in before I bind it together with a, a, a layer on top. If I find that I've used too much graphite, then I just gently lift off an area with a putty rubber. And I can do this as long as I have been very gentle and I haven't pushed anything into the paper. And at this stage I'm doing the, the stem. And there are some ridges in the stem. A lot of nice patterning actually just here. And it's the area where the uh, petals were attached. I went over everything with a hard pencil in the, 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 at the end. As you can see, I got absolutely filthy even though I've been wearing gloves. But also the paper has got a bit dirty. So I have to clean the paper up. And uh, for that I use a white plastic rubber. And this is my erasing shield, which I'm going to use to clean up the very edge of my drawing. If anything has gone over the edge, then I can clean it up with the erasing shield. So I just hide the area that has been worked on and the area that I want to, to clean, I rub with the plastic rubber. And eventually I'm cleaning the excess graphite away. There's a line on the left hand side of the, the right hand side, sorry, of the stem that I didn't want and so I'm removing that line now. It was very light 
it was uh, one of my original lines and I chose not to use it. Just finishing off where I think I might need a, a little bit of highlight or a little bit of a darker but I think now I'm putting in the hairs on the stem. Now the stem part of the stem that is facing me directly because of the The angle at which the hairs are showing, they look very much shorter at that angle, but they look a little bit longer with them going out from the side. It's just perspective all over again. Depending upon how much you hairs you're putting in, you'll probably want a little bit of shadow under one or two of them. It's just doing an odd line isn't really going to look like a hair. Emphasizing the, the shadow side of them. Oh, that's done. 